take things personally. Because it's only when you take things personally that you are able to walk away from places that aren't for you. It's only when you take things personally that you're able to feel the pain, the anger, the frustration, the just going through that moment where you're just like, I just don't want to do this anymore. It's only when you feel the pain of what just happened that you are able to get to the other side. And then I got a quote of yours that you wrote in your book <laughs> about this. Could it be that the reason you convince yourself not to take it personally is that your body wants to avoid the pain you would feel if you actually gave yourself the right to feel the pain of that mistreatment? Yes. <laughs> I'm just like, yes, yes. <laughs> I challenged you, Lisa. You did. Good. And and it was it hit me very hard. Yeah. It was I'm alleviating the pain of that mistreatment by saying it's not personal. Yes. You are avoiding feeling the pain because you know if you feel it, there's something that you have to do about it. You know that if you feel it, there's a discomfort that's going to come with it. So I hear this advice all the time. Don't take anything in life personally. And I would look at that and think, wow, that sounds peaceful. Like if someone yells at me or swears at me, I can just say, that has nothing to do with me, it's about them. And so I was having this conversation with my therapist about that, like maybe that would help me if I don't think take things personally. It's been wonderful for me. Right, but now you're at a distance from it. If you were still in it and your partner was verbally abusive towards you and every time he was verbally abusive you were just like that has nothing to do with me but it but he spoke that way to you to you just because the intention of a person who I always use this analogy uh, the intention of a person who aimed an arrow at you has nothing to do with you it's their own insecurity it's their own willingness to inflict pain that doesn't mean the arrow, the arrow didn't hit you and didn't cause you pain. Doesn't mean that you're gonna have to, it doesn't mean that you're not gonna have to go through taking it out and going to the hospital and getting stitches or, it still hurt you. So you can take it personally, you should take it personally when someone who is supposed to treat you with the utmost love and respect doesn't, that hurts. So when you're like, you put that bubble around you of like, nothing ever hurts me, I don't take anything personally, I only judge myself based on my own decisions and that's what I'm defined by, that makes for a very lonely life and for a very guarded and sheltered life. It's actually the same thing that happens when you're with a partner who is very defensive because you say something to them, you know that thing you said yesterday really hurt my feelings. And if they, if they were willing to sit with you in that pain that you are feeling as a result of what they said to you, it requires of them to take responsibility for what they said. But not only that, to understand why it's so hard for them to take responsibility. And that is sitting on a mountain of shame and conditioning and going back to their childhood and thinking to the times when they were made to believe that if they were vulnerable in any way that made them weak and so instead of them sitting with you in that pain they say I don't want to deal with all of that I'm just going to tell you something's wrong with you and something's wrong about the way that you think of things. So the same mindset behind don't take anything personally so that you don't feel all of that is the same reason that someone gets defensive. It's the same reason why someone uh, gets, uh, they would rather be verbally abusive towards you than show you the love that you need in that moment because they have to understand why they're not able to give that love. And that's a lot for them to deal with. You don't take, you think that not taking things personally is better, but it's because you don't want to deal with all of that. So you would rather um, go and speak to your friend about it and say, can you believe he said that to me? And can you believe that, you know, uh, it, he must be going through something. But here you are 
stewing with that pain inside of you and you're just waiting for someone to tell you how does that feel there were times when I would say to myself that I'm not gonna take that person that has nothing to do with me and literally the moment hours later or days later that someone that I love asks me how does that feel that sounds awful then I'm in a puddle of tears because I'm feeling, I'm like, that was really hurtful. And do you think that's because also someone else validated the pain? So yes, now you're someone like, else oh. saw the pain that's inside of you that you thought was wrong because if you are someone who doesn't take things personally, then you won't feel that pain. That's what we want to condition people to leave when we, to believe when we give them that advice, but it's very harmful advice. So. You've heard this before. Don't don't take this personally. Change that to take things personally. Because it's only when you take things personally that you are able to walk away from places that aren't for you. It's only when you take things personally that you're able to feel the pain, the anger, the frustration, the just going through that moment where you're just like, I just don't want to do this anymore. It's only when you feel the pain of what just happened that you are able to get to the other side.